I am going to start vlogging in 2016. I am going to try to make this journey that is my life something that is interesting enough to be on camera and even if other people don't think it's interesting enough I'm gonna try and make it seem interesting enough to me. So that is my goal. So 2015 was sort of an interesting year for me. I moved twice. I lived in a really tiny apartment for spring semester. It was lovely but I didn't spend a lot of time there. So I moved home for the summer semester and then I bought a house for fall. And that's interesting. So I obviously didn't buy that house all by myself. My lovely parents helped me. Um, it's sort of weird being tied to a spot for the first time. Um, terrifying might be a better word. I don't really know how I'm going to manage it, but I have a house, so that's nice. So in the summer of 2015, I had really planned to stay on my parents' farm and really get a lot of trail riding done. I have horses and I just adore them. Uh, I did a couple really big trail rides. I did one into Glacier National Park, which was just fabulous. It was gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It, we had a really weird summer spring here. Our summer started really early and we got into the park like three weeks early. And it was just gorgeous. We went to an area I'd never been before and my horse was fantastic. We crossed rivers, which has always been sort of a scary point for me. And we climbed, oh my gosh, the climbing, it was, it was intense. And it was on like a sheer drop off and my horse was great it was and I went with fabulous people so that was just lovely um, but then partway through the summer I had a really 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 bad wreck uh, I my horse and I fell off of a cliff and she got we both got pretty cut up it was she had some big cuts she had to have time off and we near we we nearly died it was it was really scary and I didn't really get much riding in after that. My heart just wasn't in it. I, I'll talk later in a later vlog about my relationship with showing horses and how my relationship with horses. And it's just really strange. And it was, I felt really, I don't know. I felt really lost. I, it's, they are my favorite thing in the universe and it was really weird not to have them be my center, my grounding point. So yeah, my summer didn't go quite as planned, but I got classes done online, and so I'm really close to graduating. My fall was weird, but also uh, nice. I mean, I have a house, I have some place to call home. It's very, very stressful, though. I'm sure I'll talk about that later. Um, and now I'm on winter break, and I've been staying at home with my family for the past two weeks. And then I'm headed back in January to take six credits in three weeks. Hopefully we'll see how that goes. Yeah. So I went and I reviewed what I said on this vlog and I realized that I want to be more honest with this. I want this to be real. I don't have anything to lose by putting my real personality on and <laughs> real me on the internet. I this past fall has been really really hard. I feel incredibly lucky but I also have been dealing with extreme anxiety and depression and I want this vlog not to just be the good things. I can always take it down. I don't think I'll ever have a big following. So this is for me. And I don't, it's great to look back and just remember the good things, but it's important to remember the bad as well. So I'm gonna be talking about that. I'm going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> 